Here's my vlog on my motorcycle when I rode from Tokyo to Aizu Wakamatsu, that is one of the major cities in Fukushima Prefecture. Now I'm entering the highway, Shitoko, to go up to the north. Basically, I'm riding to the north from Tokyo, taking Tohoku Highway or Tohoku-do first. Tohoku means northeast in Japanese, and that's the name for the northeast region in Japan, which includes Fukushima. Here I'm taking the junction that leads me to Aizu, Fukushima. the highway is called Banetsu Expressway. The word Ban was taken from Bandai Mountain that sits on the east side of Aizuwa Kamatsu and Etsu is taken from the region Echigo that was the old name being used for Niigata Prefecture and the surrounding areas. Over there, further away from the highway, now you can see the city of Aizuwa Kamatsu. When 
Actually, I'm about to take the exit from the highway that goes to Aizawa Komatsu. entered Aizuwa Kamatsu. I'm heading to Tsuruga Castle, or also called Wakamatsu Castle, that is the iconic symbol of the city. The castle belonged to Aizu clan, who was in charge of the area until the late 19th century, but they were defeated by the new government in the civil war. And after the war, the castle was demolished, but then it was rebuilt in 1960s, I guess to preserve the culture in general. see the castle standing over there and now I'm heading to the parking lot of the castle you can see many motorcyclists going to that direction so I guess that's the right entrance so later on I walked into the castle the actual building and inside the castle they have lots of exhibitions about the Ice Clan and its history, especially about the civil war in the late 1860s. I could definitely tell that people in this region have some sort of big pride about the clan and what they represented, even though they were depicted as an enemy or a last remaining resistance to the new regime in the history at the time.
the official parking lot of the Tsuruba Castle. The parking lot is all covered by small stones and dirt. It's not great for motorcyclists. It's always like this. You can see the castle over there uh, and the motorcyclists that I saw earlier. Here's the castle. And the tourists. The view from the top of the castle. Also they had a little nice garden. It's also open for exhibition like for people to come and enter. They also have a little shrine right next to the castle that was also pleasant to visit. So that's it, thank you for watching and there's part 2 in which I travel to the place I stayed and also to the lake in Awashiro.